ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh, it's taken me a while to get around to doing this video if anybody watched the camping video where I also installed a halo view uh, wireless backup camera uh, I mentioned that I also had a wired version and it took me a while to determine which vehicle I was going to put it in uh, today there's an air show going on over here at the airport uh, I don't know if you can see it like right there the Blue Angels are lined up the uh, they'll be flying around here after a while the last few days we've been able to watch them practicing from the shop uh, I'll try to get some shots of them while I'm doing this but uh, anyway my wife and dog uh, son my wife and my son are over at the airport uh, working concessions trying to earn money for a trip that they've got upcoming and uh, it's on a Saturday so I thought I'd come up I got a mow at the shop and I thought well I'm gonna put the camera in this especially after the shed move uh, for the people that have seen that video uh, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera in this rollback uh, the new number 15 so Anyway, I'm almost to the shop. I'm going to put fuel in the, uh, the mower that I've got here. Because like I said, I got a mow at the shop today too, but uh, we'll get the camera installed and uh, maybe get to watch a little bit of the air show at the same time. So hopefully everybody gets to sit back and enjoy. Okay, so I'm at the truck stop getting fuel in the wrecker and in the uh, uh, mower and I think that's the Golden Knights parachute team flying over. Yep, there they go. They just jumped out of the plane. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, at the shop, finally, uh, it was a nightmare getting through traffic. Everybody trying to get into the air show, uh, which is great. It's bringing a lot of business and stuff in, but man, what a traffic nightmare, uh, which leads me to another problem. Uh, we're on call, so I may have to bug out at any time, so I'm going to have to try to keep this down to a minimum. Uh, First, we'll start with, this is the wired system of the Halo View uh, with the seven inch monitor. Uh, decided, like I said earlier, to put it on the rollback unit number 15 uh, for various reasons. It'll come in very, very handy. Um, I think there's two possible locations that I would mount it, uh, either here or here. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's basically the same setup from what I understand that I did in the camper except uh, the camera head is wired instead of uh, wireless so there is no antenna you actually have to hardwire it and there's a, an extension cable here that came with it so you've got the camera head and the monitor looks like the same monitor that I put in uh, in my truck to use with the camper and the other stuff. So uh, let me get a few things set up and uh, see if we can get this thing installed. Okay guys, I've got uh, everything unboxed and this one is again, fairly simple. Uh, the way they've made it, you've got your choice of this standard mount or like I used on the other one, the fan mount that you can attach pretty much anywhere, which that might, I don't know, may do it there, I don't know. Still determining which location I'm going to do it. Um, you know, you've got a good solid mount there, but it gets in the way of where I want to put the uh, siren box. This might work there, it gets kind of in the way of the light, but... I think it'll work. I'll probably put it up here. Anyhow, um, as far as the wiring goes, they've made it very simple. 
Uh, you've got a couple of options on this one. I'm going to hardwire it uh, because it's going to be a permanent mount. This is a simple, simple plug that they've made to go with it. it. Just plugs together. You line the arrows up and it plugs in. And then on the power system has your power and ground here which I've got a power and ground right there that I'm going to use or they have a uh, uh, auxiliary power adapter like I used in the uh, uh, pickup in the camper that you can plug right into this and just simply plug it into an auxiliary power plug. Okay, on this one, as I was saying, you can do the auxiliary power port or like I'm going to do on this one, since it's a permanent mount, you just push these two little buttons, the wires come out, it's already got an inline fuse. Uh, so the wiring hookup on this one will be very simple. Go into there, and then your camera leads. Your camera has, this one has the option for three cameras. The other system, the wireless system, uh, was capable of four. This one is capable of three cameras. Uh, we're just going to use the one camera for now. We may add two more later, uh, but I'm going to put the rear camera. I know exactly where I want to go with it. So the only wiring that I really have to do up here is my power and ground and my camera wire. And I've got to take some of this apart and feed the camera wire back to the back of the truck. Uh, that'll be the most difficult part of the whole job. So now that we know what we've got to do, it's time to do it. Okay, I've had this apart before uh, whenever I had to uh, install this keypad, so kind of have an idea of what I need to take loose. reason I'm taking this down is so that I can uh, feed my camera wire. There we go. Take that out and I forgot there's two screws up there that also have to be removed. And then this panel should drop down. can feed the wires through there. It's important that I get the right end of the cable fed through because there is a male and a female end. Make sure which one the camera has. And it really doesn't matter, I wouldn't think, but camera three, camera two, camera one. We'll go ahead with camera one. All right, so the camera one has the male. Camera two has the female. And then 
screws together some. Then this is what we have to feed down through. All right, here we go. Okay, so I had to do a little bit more. Had to take out the uh, glove box and take off this panel here, which was not, not a big deal. down through through there make sure that connection is good and tight go through the firewall which I remember doing before so I've got to cut through one of the openings and retape it after I get done so we're gonna change camera positions and go to the firewall okay so I've got this opened up and I've removed the tape from where uh, I had it previously taped and cut there's a rubber grommet a rubber boot right here that the cable will go through and then I'll have to uh, fish it through the truck all the way to the rear but for right now I need to get it through the firewall here push it through the firewall I hope There we go. All right, came out through the firewall. Pull the slack out. And there we go. Now we've got a cable extender, so we can either leave everything loose and tie all the loose cable up up there, which is probably what I'll do, and then I'll tie everything up. Uh, but for now, we'll get the cable run to the rear and we'll finish up inside whenever we get the camera mounted. Okay, so right here is the exact rear center of the bed. So I want my camera right square center of the bed. So I'll line it up with that marker light. Here's the mounting bracket. This is pretty thick steel, so I'm going to have to drill through it. Uh, I took the camera off the mounting bracket, Oop. drill bit, I've got a center punch here, also a uh, window breaker, a spring loaded center punch so that I can mark my holes for me to drill. several times now unless I get my right angle drill or I figure something else out my drill is too short to fit in there 
Okay, so my right angle drill isn't working, so I had to come up with a different solution. Hopefully this will work. Um, I got this from Mac Tools. I bought it off the tool truck. It's a uh, an extender, but it's a right angle extender uh, used primarily, my, my use is for the new trucks with disc brakes to cage the disc brakes in very tight spaces. But hopefully my idea here I got some self-tappers, self-tapping screws, socket to fit it, and then hopefully I'll be able to use my one of my impacts. I've got a small 20 volt impact here, uh, DeWalt, and then I've got my regular Matco impact up there. Hopefully this small DeWalt will work. If this material will accept a uh, self-tapper. Try a different, uh, different impact. <clears throat> that one's working, but it's working awfully slow. Let me see if this one runs a little quicker. Maybe it'll drill through the. Oh. Whoa! That one's almost too quick. We may have to stay with slow and steady. warming up up here where it spins and I don't want to hold on to it with my fingers down there because when it collapses I don't want to crush my fingers like that I don't want to get my fingers pinched in there well this is gonna prove to be a chore I may end up putting 3m tape on the bottom of this mount and just 3m tape it to there we'll see try this a little bit more and if it don't work I'm gonna go with a 3M tape <laughs> okay finally all right a lot of uh, different methods tools used but I finally got two quarter inch holes drilled to mount this thing. Woo what a chore. Now I thought running a cable was going to be the difficult part. Drilling through that was not simple. Anyway we got it drilled. Okay so I put the camera mounting bracket back together. I've got some quarter inch bolts ready to go. I ended up, if you're curious, I ended up having to start the holes with the uh, angle adapter and these self-tapping screws. And then I had to finish the holes with a regular drill bit uh, because this material back here was too thick. Anyway, I managed to get it done. Uh, took quite a bit longer than I'd hoped, but got it done nonetheless. Now to see if I can work my hands up in here and get the nuts on, Oop, dropped it. And that appears to be almost perfect centered back here. 
and I'll wait to tighten the uh, sides down to change the tilt angle until I get it wired in and uh, we can check the view from the monitor. Right now, just getting it mounted. Tighten her down here and we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. There's another little uh, plate in here, so I can't get a uh, ratchet and a socket in here. I'm having to use just two standard wrenches. Understand it's getting close to time for the Blue Angels to uh, take off and do their part of the show, so I'd like to get set up so I can watch part of that. Maybe you guys can too. I was hoping to get this done a little quicker, but it is what it is. mount is good and solid i didn't have to resort to using the 3m tape which could have led to me losing the camera at some point all right now now to run the wiring we've got this end and we've got the end that uh, ran through the firewall now we have to run the uh, jumper cable from that firewall back to here on non-movable parts of the rollback bed. So, on to the next stage. Okay, so, I've got the wire from the camera run forward and here, and I've got the other wire from the uh, monitor up to here. So, we just about have everything where it needs to be. What I'll do, is I'll connect these two, and then I'll pull them back into, this has a nice little uh, screw on it, and you put that over it, okay. Then I'll pull this back into the cab and take my excess up in the cab. And we'll tie all this up down here. Finish tying it up. I put on a long sleeve shirt while I was under the truck so that I uh, didn't get my arms all dirty and greasy and banged up. Even though it's warm, I like to have a long sleeve shirt just to protect my, protect my arms. Okay. I think I'm gonna disconnect that. Run it up through that loom there. Be a little bit more secure that way. Fit. Come on. There we go. All right. Connect it back together. Push the covering over to protect it. Go 
ahead and throw one more zip tie around here. I'll be ready to pull it through from the inside. Looking good. Come the Blue Angels. One upside, or both of them upside down. Oh, there they are. four and then there's the two coming over the airport the airport's right over there okay one's inverted and the other one's flying right looks like right underneath it oh that is so awesome like the shot from Top Gun. Four are coming in from the north west. Coming in over the uh, checkerboard uh, right now. Checkerboard water tower.
coming right over the top of the trees. And the other one's coming in from the other way. To use a catchphrase, I feel the need, the need for speed. Four coming in over the top of the trees. there he's inverted now coming around down going to do what here there's a single one coming in over the top of the trees and then the four are coming around behind me oh there's the two of them they're going to converge over the top of the coming at each other they're going to converge over the top of the airport again turn sideways oh upside down pass <laughs> sweet and here they come all four together oh they're coming back together again the two are
inverted loop. Both sides. back around behind me. Right over the top. Is that awesome or what? There's a two. up over the north near Cape Girardeau now coming back around okay looks like the, the four are gonna converge over the top of the airport this time And this is where they reach almost stall speed. They'll come up and they'll walk like that at a slow, slow speed, expending a, a huge amount of fuel, going as slow as they can to keep them aloft. Yep, that's what they're doing. Watched them do that in practice over the weekend, or a couple of days prior. This is pretty cool. Or it's all cool to me, I love jets. Six of 
of them gonna team up. Maybe. <laughs> They're halfway to St. Louis by now. Yeah, it looks like they're getting in a uh, six-man formation now. Yep. Bringing it in as they come around. Six plane formation coming in. Halfway to Memphis. <laughs> Staying in the six plane formation. Circling back around to the east this time. I've got the theme from Top Gun running through my head. barely see them because they're headed directly at us, but little specks right above the trees. Coming in from the south. There they go, turn on the smoke. Still in the six plane formation. There they go. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful.
letting off one by one. They're coming in for a landing. Yep, looks like the landing gear's down on that one. They just came in over the trees, so looks like maybe they're done. Man, what a show. Yep, landing gear's coming down on that one. They're bringing them in. can't see the airport from here to see the landing zone but right as they come over the trees they're dropping their uh, landing gear and slowing down and then we lose sight of them as they come in for the approach for the landing at the airport Pretty awesome. It's four of them in. It's number five. Got his gear down. And six is over the levee there. Five coming in behind the trees now. Lost sight of him. And there's number six. I can see the gear going down now. We'll lose him in here behind the trees. Well, that's it folks what a wonderful wonderful show for us anyway um, I got to get back and uh, finish up my uh, backup camera if they do any more I'll try to come back out and see what we can do but uh, I, I know I've sure enjoyed it man that was whoo that was fun okay the air show is over I've got uh, back in the truck and figuring out the internal wiring. I've got the power supply. Uh, and I thought I was gonna set it up so that uh, uh, whenever I powered like the backup lights or something, uh, it would power up the screen, but I changed my mind. I don't wanna do that. I have my own personal reasons. I know whenever I did the uh, uh, other camera in my truck, people told me I needed to put it on the re reverse light I didn't want to do that I had it so that I could turn it on when I want it uh, the way this camera is set up uh, it's the same way I want to do it the same way to where all I have to do is power the head unit up and it's ready it's on immediately and that's the way I want it uh, I know I could tie it in so that whenever it we put it in reverse, it comes on, uh, but I wanna be able to use it at times other than when I'm backing up. So this is the way I want it. Powered on, powered off, anytime I want to. So, all right, now to tuck all this away, and uh, I still got a mow yet this afternoon. Still got a lot of work to do yet. that just 
kind of loosely fit those in because I still have to mount the oh, mount the camera head. And I'm going to put the camera head, tuck it up under there. Decided that I wanted it to go there. That'll work real well for me. It's out of the way of everything. I can still have my siren box. So that will work. Glad I left that loose because I want to take this and run it behind here. Make sure I can do that. Tension anything. Okay. It's like I can if I come out. up and we're good to go Make sure nothing gets pinched here. Right. I could drill through there put that grommet in. I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is though. Peel the tape off and hopefully get it stuck in the right position the first time.
All right. Again. Good to go there. There we go. And the good thing about this is it's always got this quick opening here. I'm just going to tuck everything up inside of there, put the cover back on. And then, like I said, that still leaves this plate for my uh, siren box when we get around to that. And some people have asked about the siren box, uh, asked if it was legal for me to run red and blues without a siren. <laughs> That horn can, is considered a sounding device, which is all that is legally required. A sounding device and the red and blue lights, so we're good. All right. Then once I get those taken care of, or once I get the siren box put up there, I'll be able to tuck those up nicer. For right now, that's still good. We're just about done. Quit dropping stuff. All right, now, anybody see what else is left here? What else we got to put on? We're all set. Power up. Can we see? Yes, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Works just wonderful. All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna tie everything up and uh, go finish my mowing. We're all set. Unit looks good. We'll test it out, obviously, uh, but if it works like the other one does, I'm going to be real happy with it. So, anyway, okay, so I got everything put up, my stuff put back in the truck that I needed, and I went to mow, and <laughs> we've had a lot of rain around here. This wasn't exactly how I had hoped to use the backup camera the first time. 
but the door's stuck. Doesn't need much, just a little bit. But I don't have to do that again, but it happens. Well, backup test of the uh, new camera system worked well. All right, I'm going to get back to mowing. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.